Hi, I'm David James, product specialist over at Volkswagen of Streetsboro. Today, we're going to be going over the 2018 Volkswagen Atlas SEL Premium. So, up at the front on the Atlas, you do get full LED headlights. Uh, you get the LED daytime running lights, which are going to be outlined right here. And the actual headlight units themselves are LEDs as well. Same with the blinkers and so on and so forth. Down at the bottom, you do have fog lights as well. The cool thing about those, they actually second as cornering lights. So whenever you turn either right or left, they're going to illuminate whichever corner you're going to be turning. Over at the rear, you do have a power lift gate. Back to the cargo space. Volkswagen did a really cool thing. They actually carved out the left and the right cubbies to make it so you can actually fit either a stroller or a set of golf clubs in there without having to actually fold the seats down. So you can set, put a set in there just like that. Super simple. The rear seats do fold down as well. All you do is put the handle right there and it'll fold down. Then this one over here is going to fold down as well. Both rows actually fold completely flat as well. Back here, you do get the Volkswagen cargo protection system. With that system, um, the cargo blocks, which we do not have in here, they actually will Velcro down to the mat. Uh, you can hold things in like groceries or any type of precious cargo that you don't want sliding around. The cargo mat is waterproof as well. So if you were to spill something on it, don't worry about it. Just take it out, spray it off, let it dry, pop right back in. Under the Atlas, in the SEO Premium, you do have the Fender audio system. So you do have your subwoofer back here. Your spare tire is under the vehicle. And then right over here, uh, you have your jacks and everything like that you would need to change a tire if you were to get a flat. One cool thing about Volkswagen is they do include roadside assistance for three years, 36,000 miles. So the chances of you having to do that yourself within that first three years is pretty slim. Right over here on the passenger side, you do have the fuel door. Uh, to open up the fuel door, all you do is press the elbow of said door and it will pop right on open. That door does lock whenever you lock the vehicle for your safety, of course. One sweet thing, the reason my Volkswagen puts it on this side of the vehicle is because if you're actually at the gas station uh, refueling, it's a lot better to have it on this side versus that side because when you open up your door, your door could possibly hit the unit itself. Another reason that they actually put it on this side is gonna be for safety. Um, if you run out of fuel on the highway, it's a lot safer to refuel on the passenger side versus the driver's side. So in the second row of the Atlas, uh, this particular one does have the captain's chairs. You have the option to have the bench as well where you have the three versus just the two. With the Atlas, to get into the third row is super easy and simple. All you do is pull the latch over here from the back. The entire seat will then tilt forward like so, and then you can simply push it forward. It allows for easy access to get into the third row. To put it back, all you do is push back, lift the handle again, then it'll tilt, snap right back in. Another thing you're gonna have in the second row is gonna be your climate controls. So over here, you can have your passengers control the heating and the cooling. They can also control their own fan speed. One really sweet thing about the SEO Premium is you get heated rear seats as well always a nice feature here in Ohio. Down here you're going to have two USB ports and you also have a 115 volt uh, standard plug actually so you can plug anything in as well. Over here on the passenger front seat uh, you do have a power passenger seat and you also have your lockable glove box right here. It's large enough to throw a party in there. Another thing you're going to have is your CD player and two SD card slots in there as well. Now we're gonna go over to the driver's side where I'll be able to show you the keyless access and all of the cool features you get with the SEO Premium. On the driver's side and passenger side, along with both rear doors and the trunk lid, you do have your keyless access. So the key is currently in my pocket. The key just has to be within three feet of the vehicle. So to lock it over here, you're gonna see a little indent on the actual door handle itself. And as you notice, since I touched it, it did lock. All you gotta do to lock it is just simply touch the pad right there to unlock it is the easiest thing ever you don't do anything unusual you just grab the door handle like that and it'll open right up you do have power folding mirrors as well as you noticed i'll go ahead and get that on the tape as well 
very cool feature. Then it's easy to open up, grab the handle, hop on it. Over on the driver's side, uh, a couple quick features we're gonna have over here. It's gonna be on the SEO Premium, you do get the memory seats. Of course, they are power, and you do have power lumbar as well. Automatic headlights, uh, telescoping steering wheel with this lever right here. You pull it down, the steering wheel can then go up, down, and retract in and out. With the SEO Premium, you have push button start as well. So to start the vehicle up, all you do is put your foot on the brake, press and hold the start button, boom, it'll start right up for you. You also have the digital cockpit. So this is just one screen. There are no analog gauges up there. And I will go through all your features that you get with that as well. So up here, what you're gonna have is, you're gonna have views, which you can actually change the view of the cockpit itself. So if we were to go to classic, let's see, it would just simply be your speedometer and tachometer. Down here, you can show your gear and speed. So gear on the left side, speed on the right side. Economy and range, your economy is gonna be on the left, range is gonna be on the right. You can just show economy. You can show your navigation, so it'll show a compass and your altitude. It will also display the map up on the screen as well. Then you're gonna have your driver's assistance systems. So what's gonna show up there, let's see. So you're gonna have your map, and then as far as the driver's assistance systems, let me jump to it for you. So you're gonna have lane assist, your blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, and front assist. The way that the lane assist works is if you're on the highway going above 40 miles per hour, and if you were to begin to drift out of the lane to the left or right, the vehicle will actually steer itself back into that lane for you. You're gonna have blind spot monitoring which it will light up right on the side mirror for you if there's someone in your blind spot. The rear traffic alert is a really cool feature as well. So with that, let's say the best example I have is let's say you're at the, the, at the grocery store, you're in the parking lot, and there's always people that love to fly through parking lots. If you're backing out of the spot and someone's flying through and you don't see them and you keep going, as he crosses your path and as you, you continue to back up, your vehicle will actually be able to stop itself to avoid that collision for you. And then front collision avoidance, what that's gonna do is let's say you're coming in hot on someone, um, the vehicle's gonna start beeping pretty loud to let you know, hey, press the brake to help you with your reaction time. Um, the vehicle is capable of braking itself as well. However, Volkswagen doesn't really like to advertise that way, of course, for legal reasons. Over here on the actual radio, you're gonna have AM, FM, and satellite, as you can see right there. With media, your different source options you're going to have is going to be CDs, SD cards, USB ports, Bluetooth, and auxiliary. So there's no way you can't play your own music in the vehicle. You also have Bluetooth phone as well. You have your Volkswagen voice commands right there. So you can see with navigation, I could say enter address or home address or call whomever it may be. Up here to the top right, you're going to have your navigation. So once that loads up, uh, your map will actually show up right there. Then as you can see on the screen up here, the navigation actually, I sent the map up here to my instrument cluster, which is super cool and very easy to use. The vehicle does have App Connect, so you're gonna have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and Mirror Link. I will show you that a little bit later on, but I will get to that. Under a car, you're gonna be able to view a lot of really cool car information. So since start, extended period, and since refuel. A lot of really cool information you can keep up on the fly. Your Think Blue Trainer, you simply wanna get your, your score as close to 100 as possible to save as much fuel as you can. Vehicle stats, so what shows up here is the perfect example. Whenever you need to refuel, it, it will simply highlight the fuel tank um, in yellow, and it'll let you know, hey, refuel. If you had a check engine light, the engine compartment would be lit up. And if you need it to fill your tires with air pressure, the tires will be highlighted as well. Off-road information, so you can view your steering angle, like right here. I'll turn it all the way to the left, and then I'll turn it back to zero degrees. There we go, simple as that. Energy consumers will actually just show you what's using energy. Then we go right back to sense refuel. 
Down here, you're gonna have your climate controls. The SEO Premium does have dual climate. So as you can see, right now it's on high. I'll turn it down to 72. If you press the sync button, it'll sync both of those. AC is right there. You do have heated seats. The SEO Premium also has ventilated seats as well. You have a heated steering wheel, which is right down here. The vehicle does have the start stop function. So whenever you come at a stop, whether it be at a stoplight or just on the road in general, it will cut the ignition for you. Um, they use that to save more fuel and then it'll cut right back on as you lift off the brake. One last thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be the different driving modes that the, that the Atlas has. Every Atlas that comes with four motion or all wheel drive will actually have this feature. So right down here, there's gonna be a knob. With the knob, all you do is press it down. Then as you can see up on the screen, you're gonna have Eco, Normal, Sport, and Custom. Eco, you would use Eco if you just wanna drive and save as much fuel as possible. Normal is just gonna be for your normal everyday driving. Sport, if you're feeling a little sporty like me. Um, with the sport mode, what that's gonna do is gonna put the transmission in sport mode. So it's gonna hold your RPMs a little bit higher and it's gonna shift later. It'll also make the pedal a little bit more responsive and it's gonna tighten up your steering about 10%. Over in custom, you can go to adjust and then you can adjust everything you like, however you feel. So for steering, for example, you can put the steering in sport, leave the drive system or transmission in normal, adaptive cruise, you can change that from normal sport to eco. What that does is that will actually adjust how fast the vehicle will accelerate whenever you're in the cruise control. Then climate control, you can do normal or eco. Other driving modes you're going to have, if you that same knob, if you actually twist it, you have a snow mode for pretty deep snow, you'd use that. Regular normal is what you would have. Off-road, and then off-road custom. If we go to off-road custom, the things that you can actually adjust are going to be steering, drive system, the all-wheel drive system, adaptive cruise control, climate control, hill descent control, hill start assist, and the parking assist. You can adjust all of that on the fly. So from here, I will go over the panoramic sunroof. So with the system, it is super easy to use. Up here, there's gonna be a forward and back button, arrows, sorry, that are gonna be for the actual sunset itself. You simply press that button just like that. It'll retract the shade. And the, the sunroof does go all the way back to the second row of seats. So it is a lot of natural light that you'll get in here. To open the sunroof now, all you do is you press the button that is receded back into the thing a little bit. You press it back. There we go. And then I close it up, same deal, just in reverse, just push it forward. And last but not least, I'm gonna go over the uh, Volkswagen App Connect. So I have an iPhone, so I will be showing you Apple CarPlay, um, but I should be able to show you the Android Auto a little bit later as well. So to activate the Apple CarPlay, all you have to do is plug your phone up to the lightning port, unlock the device on the screen, you wanna press connect, and then up on your phone, it will say allow, just like that. Now, once you press that, your apps are gonna pop up right here. So first, we'll start off with the phone. Show contacts, favorites, recents, contacts, keypad, and voicemail, all up on the screen there. Next is gonna be music. It's very simple, just like that. Another cool thing, you can actually go to your library for you, browse and radio, if you use Apple Music, of course. Next is going to be maps. So with maps, it will simply show pull your navigation from your phone and put, display it directly on the screen there. It's very simple to use. It works just like it does on your phone. So for example, up at the top, you have your location and destinations is where you can type in a destination right there. Messages is really cool as well. Would you like to hear your unread messages or create a new one? And then you can go to show messages and then what'll happen 
is you cannot read the messages, but Siri has to read the messages to you. So if you get a new message, it'll simply drop down from the top. You can press that person's name. It'll say new message from David. Siri will then read the message to you. And then Siri will say, would you like to respond? If you say yes, you just say whatever you want to say. And then Siri will send it off. Now playing jumps back to whatever music you have playing. The Volkswagen button will go back to the Volkswagen screen. Podcast, if you have podcasts at all, I think I actually have a couple in there. Yes, I do. Audiobooks, I don't think I have any. Yep, so you have audiobooks. And that's going to be App Connect. Thank you so much for joining us today um, and letting me preview the 2018 Atlas SEO Premium for you. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to give me a call. Um, you can call the number. It's going to be 330-342-7000. Don't forget to ask for your favorite product expert, David.